Hello everybody, I am back with another layout or plastic video. This this layout is about my grandfather's aunt. It would be his father's older sister. <coughs> Sorry. I already have my stuff already out, laid out like my picture in my journaling. I already have it glued, matted with some black cottage dark. It's one of my brand. I am piercing um, with a little tab, tab thing, um, for my blads that I got from Sue, who was Sio7228 here on YouTube. And I got my quick, got quick dry adhesive, and I'm going, going up my, um, um, border that I cut with my silhouette cameo. And I'm placing my picture and journaling down and see where I want it. And I think I'm about ready to get out my vintage. Yeah, I got my Tim Holtz vintage photo vintage ink out. And I'm inking around the edges of the journaling. And also, I use my decorative scissors on the top and bottom of the journaling. And that is the Paper Studio Royal Edge scissors. Decorative stitches I used. I'm just giving a close up view of the journaling. <clears throat> now I'm going down my journaling, and I think I'm going to go down my picture too. In this layout, took me about an hour. I'm not 100% sure on that. I don't pay attention to the clock when I'm doing work layouts like this. Or any kind of artwork, to tell you the truth. Now I'm piercing down on the background paper through the journaling holes that I already pierced through the background paper. Now those are the breath that Sue gave me. I'm using up your, starting to use up your supplies, Sue. So thank you very much for the breads. Thank you very, very, thank you very much for the um. Supplies of goodies I can play around with. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So it was hard. I tried to. It it was a little bit hard getting those bread through the paper. Let me tell you, it was difficult. But I got them. I got them all four in there. All four of the beds in there. So that's good. So I'm having a hard time. <clears throat> now I got doilies out, and thanks to Nancy, who is Kitty Scrapper here on YouTube. I'm finally using my doilies. I got those in a order on a chair on top in my last haul video. If you guys see my haul video, I showed you those doilies and thanks to Nancy who got me the doilies. I'm starting to use them now. I thought this would be good good time good time I can't talk. Good time to start using the doilies. And I kinda did what Nancy did, cut them in half and and put them behind behind a photo or whatever. I'm using my vintage photo to mulch and I'm inking up the doily to give it a little distressed look. Now I'm getting out my um, family, my recollection stickers. And I'm also getting out my photo corner because I want to decor deco decorate up the corners of the photo, give it a little interest to it. I got the us sticker out of there because I wanted to use the us stickers and you'll see in the video I kept struggling with that little sticker. Now I got my American Crafts remark letter sticker out and I'm throwing out Amanda's story because the journaling is pretty much her story and I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to be called like Amanda and John but I said you know what Amanda's story because I did the journaling it's mainly about her life when she was born, 
who she married, blah, 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 her kids, you know, so pretty much Amanda's story, even though her second husband is in the photo with her. Um, I don't know why I decided to use her in my hair this album, but I wanted to use any relatives I had information on or pictures of of my grandfather and put it in his hair this album because that was his aunt. It was his dad's older sister and I thought, you know what, it's, it's my grandfather's relative, I'm going to put her in the hair this album. So. <clears throat> now, I'm not really happy with this layout. I mean, I hope you guys will let me know what you guys think. Because I'm not sure I'm completely done with this layout. I don't know if I gotta add something more. So, let me. So, you guys let me know in the comments below what you guys think. If I should add more to it or if it uh, looks good as it is. You know, let me know. I'm coming up close, I think close to the end of this layout, this layout here, and what I forgot was I forgot to do journaling on the bottom of Amanda and John's picture, and I forgot to put a little tag, like family stories, or what was it? Yeah, family stories, I forgot to put a little tag there. Now what I'm doing is I'm cutting out my rub on but I'm cutting it out while it's still in the pack because I saw a video on YouTube about it where a lady said just cut out your rub on sticker in the package don't take it out of the package so that's a tip for you guys now I'm giving you a close up of this video and a picture coming up and a still, pi or a still picture can come up I'm fiddling around with that little sticker anyways I hope you enjoyed the third process video I've done for you called Amanda's Story and let me know, let me know what you guys think about how I'm doing these process video. I really, really appreciate it. Talk to you later. Bye.